Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Dee. I am a Saint Beauty artist, a DIY lash enthusiast, and a lover of all things beauty. So today's video is going to be what I love about Saint and why I think I need it, why you, I think you need it in your life. Um, so I've been wanting to do this video for a long time and for whatever reason, I just kept pushing it back, pushing it back. And I figured with the start of the new year, what a perfect time to kind of talk about the benefits of Saint and more importantly, or not more importantly, but I thought it was a great time because I am hitting my one year anniversary with Saint. So I have been selling this makeup for a year. I have been using it for over two years. I have never used a foundation product this long in my whole entire life. And if you scroll through my YouTube video, you will see that I've tried a ton of foundations, a lot of skin tints, BB creams, CC creams, foundations, all that stuff. This is the only foundation, the only makeup product system, whatever you want to call it, that I have used consistently in my whole entire life. Like over two years, I have not found anything that works better for my skin. And I just want to kind of go through why this makeup is so great, why I think it works for everybody, um, regardless of your skin tone, why I think it's great for maturing skin, all the things. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I tried to think of like, what is the top one reason or like, you know, okay, I'm going to start with the number one reason why this makeup is great and then kind of work my way down. And honestly and truly, there isn't just one reason. There's not like a top one reason and then just kind of filter down every single reason why this makeup is amazing deserves to be in the top one spot. So I'm just kind of kind of go through, not in any particular order, but just kind of go through some of the benefits that I have found with Saint, what other people have said are benefits with Saint, and maybe one will resonate with you and go, okay, this is what I'm looking for. It's 2023. 2023, if you're using the same liquid foundation, girl, it's time to change your makeup routine. Let's get into it or let's do it. So the first thing is, what I love about it is it simplifies your makeup routine. So no more cluttery makeup bags, no more traveling with a whole bunch of stuff and everything. Everything that you need can fit into this one compact. Now, there are different sizes and of course, but I don't have this prepared. So if you wanna start out, you can start out with just four colors. You can start out with one color, you can start out with two colors, whatever you want. It is completely 100% customizable. You decide what's in your budget. You decide what you wanna work with. So if you're not a contour and bronzer person, then just get one or the other. If you don't wanna use the cheek color and you wanna use other cheek colors because you like other cheek colors, then don't buy the cheek colors. It is 100% customizable. It's within your budget, whatever works for you and whatever works for your makeup routine. So you can purchase as little or as much as you want. Uh, everything will fit in these compacts, no matter what your budget is, no matter what your lifestyle is. So they have different sizes of compacts. They also have different finishes. These are all dirty, but they have matte versions. And you can see here, I really, really like the silver. So there's different sizes, there's different finishes, whatever you want. And if you purchase a certain amount, then you do get credit off of some of the, oh, and here's another one. Um, you do get credit off of the palette. So I think it's like a $10 credit if you purchase a certain amount. So you can get your whole functioning system in one thing. So it will help simplify your makeup routine as far as the clutterness. Piggybacking off of that, it is also super travel friendly. So I'm going to be posting a video if I haven't already by the time this video is up about how I did road trip makeup, how I did my makeup in the car. One thing, because I was watching another influencer here on Instagram, or not here on Instagram, but on Instagram, and she was doing her makeup in the car and she did was using liquid foundation. She ended up getting it all in her hair. Oops, not a big deal. But if you've ever gotten liquid foundation on your clothes, particularly black clothes, you know what a beast it is to try to get it out. It will stain. And if you're in the car, you probably don't have stuff to like quickly, you know, clean your clothes or whatever. What I love about this makeup is it doesn't, it doesn't move. It's not liquid. I can sit here and go like this. Nothing is going to fall out. Nothing is going to drop out. Nothing is going to get on my clothes. So I literally just put my finger in it. I smear it on and it's perfect for that road trip, the car, you're running late, whatever. You can do this in the car and not have to worry about getting on your clothes. Not only that, because I can fit everything in this comp one compact, 
It also doesn't count as liquid as far as TSA guidelines for travel. So I can throw this, I always keep it in my purse anyways, um, just because I can't live without my makeup and I don't want it to get lost or anything like that, but I can keep it. I don't have to pull it out from the TSA security. It doesn't count towards liquids. And that means I can bring all my skincare and more, you know, beer things or whatever, um, because this doesn't count. So literally everything there, super, super travel friendly. Piggybacking, uh, expounding a little bit more on the simplifying, it not only declutters stuff, but it also simplifies your makeup routine as as far as making it super, super easy. So if you are somebody who doesn't, is not used to, or not used to wearing contour and bronzer and all that stuff, you can feel like a pro while using this. It is 100% dummy proof. It is super, super easy to apply. I've done a ton of videos about like the cheetah hack method, if you've ever heard about that, where you dot it all over your face. Um, there's smear methods. There are super, super quick ways that you can apply it and blend it out. It looks scary at first, but I promise you it will blend out beautifully. Definitely check out those videos if you don't believe me because you can sit there and smear it all over, blend it out, and your face will look fabulous. So you don't have to be a makeup artist to get your makeup looking 3D, functional, not flat, all those things. Um, you can do it by just using this. So it's completely dummy proof. It will simplify your makeup routine, make it super, super easy and super, super quick. If you're a busy mama like me, I don't have time to do my makeup. I, I used to spend like 30 minutes doing my makeup and just layering all the layers on and packing all the stuff to get all that coverage. And now I'm able to literally do my makeup in less than five minutes, 10 minutes with my hair and all that stuff. So if you're somebody who is struggling with getting a routine in the morning, You've got kiddos, you've got toddlers going around. This will absolutely simplify your makeup routine where you can look put together, you look nice, and you don't look like that tired mama that you are. I don't wanna say it puts a mask on you, but we all know. I mean, my kids are older. I have a 16 year old. Well, today is my son's birthday. So uh, I have now a 16 year old and a 13 year old. And I can tell you, it does get a lot better for those mamas that have younger kids. It does get a lot better. It's different problems but you will get more sleep, I promise. But I remember those days when I had toddlers and babies and everybody needing me and wanting me and touching me and I'm like, ugh. And I remember my dark eye circles were 10 times worse than they are now. This stuff is going to cover it up and make you look like you actually got a full night's sleep. Night's sleep. So if you're looking for that, this can achieve it. And the other thing kind of talking about that is you're going to get great coverage without looking like you have cake face. I look back through my videos and I realized how many layers I was packing on just to get the coverage to try to cover up all the stuff that I needed to cover up. Now, one thing that I have done through the years is I have focused more on my skincare and I do not want to discredit skincare because that is your foundation. You need to make sure that you're doing a consistent skincare routine because even though this stuff is magic, the better your skincare routine is, the better your skin is, obviously the better your skin is going to look and the less product you're going to need. But it still gives great coverage. So you can get whatever coverage you want. If you just want a light sweep of coverage, then you can do that. You can get a natural coverage. I've got videos on that. You can do a full coverage. You can do a glam look. You can do a out the door quick look. You can do whatever coverage you want simply by either smearing it or by using a different brush. So if you're looking for something to cover up your redness, say you have rosacea, it's beautiful. It covers up rosacea. That's one of the things that I cover, I have the most of is redness and it covers up my redness beautifully. It's going to look flawless. So if you're looking for coverage and you don't want that cake face, this makeup is it. It also works well for all skin types. So I speak specifically with my skin because I am dry and I am maturing. So I am not oily. There are other girls that use this type of makeup that are oily that absolutely love it. It does work for all skin type, but specifically because I feel like, you know, that's authentic. I have dry skin. I have maturing skin. It works absolutely wonders for my skin. And that is one of the reasons why I've been using it so consistently for over two years now is because it is the only thing that I have found that works wonderful for my skin as far as dryness. And I've said this before, on the days that I don't wear makeup and I do all the skincare and stuff like that, it does my skin at the end of the day looks worse than on the days that I actually do my makeup. Because one of the things that this makeup does is it kind of creates a barrier. So when you do your morning skincare routine and I'm infusing my skin with all the hydrating stuff, 
I put this on and it creates a barrier on my skin from all the external stuff. So it's actually locking in the moisture, it's locking in that hydration. And so at the end of the day, when I take my makeup off, it actually looks better and more hydrated and more plump than on the days that I don't wear makeup. So it, I don't wanna say it's a skincare product, cause it's not, but it works almost like a barrier for all the external environmental stuff that is ripping and pulling out the hydration, it's going to put that protective layer in. It does have titanium di dioxide, so it gets a little bit of sunscreen in there. I still recommend using sunscreen, but it locks in everything that you put on your face prior, and my face looks better at the end of the day on the days that I wear makeup. So even like I used to do this whole big skincare routine in the morning and then put all these masks on and then not put anything on my skin or not put makeup on um, afterwards. I've now, after I do all my masks and stuff like that, I'm doing my skincare regimen and all the fluffy stuff that I normally do on Sunday. I will still take a the blend brush and then take my main highlight shade and just buff it in. So I'm getting a light coverage. I'm not going full coverage or anything like that, but that way I can put that layer on. That way everything is locked in and sucked in. And then when I take my makeup off at the end of the night, my face looks fabulous. So can your liquid foundation do that? I don't think it can. So the other reason why it is great for a dry and mature skin is one thing that I've noticed is I do have flakes a lot and it, it doesn't emphasize my dry flakes as much as liquid foundation. So I found like with liquid foundation because it does dry, this does not dry, this will stay cream and radiant and all that stuff, but it does not dry down like liquid foundations. Therefore, it doesn't emphasize my dry flakes on my skin as much as liquid foundation you're still gonna see them. Like, I don't want to, I'm not pulling the wool over your eyes of like, oh my gosh, you're never gonna see the flakes. It just doesn't emphasize them as much as liquid foundation. Again, can't go back to skincare routine, skincare routine, skincare routine. I still have the flakiness, but it's not as bad as it normally is or has it been through years because I've been religious and consistent with my skincare routine. So this is not going to take away your dry flakes. It's not gonna do that, but it won't emphasize them as much as liquid foundation. The other thing I like about it for mature skin is because it does not dry down, it is going to sit on your face and it's still going to give that luminosity, but it's not going to settle into fine lines and wrinkles. So if you're somebody who is, you know, 40s, 50s, 60s, this makeup's gonna be beautiful for you. I am almost 40 and I'm starting to notice all the fine lines and wrinkles and this makeup has been worked wonders for me. Now, in saying that, I mentioned that it does not dry down like liquid foundation, so it's going to act like a second skin, but I strongly recommend that you, um, you set it in some kind of method. So if you are oily, then I would set it with a, a powder. So we do have a setting powder. Any setting powder is gonna work. So if you have a setting powder already in your arsenal that you absolutely love, it's gonna work just fine with this. So definitely set it so that way it doesn't move around. There are days I don't set my makeup. I don't do anything with it. It will still, it could move. It also could get onto something or whatever, but it's not like horrible. It's not like you know where you wear lipstick and you like go like this by accident and it smears across your face and nobody tells you it's not going to be like that but it is still going to move because it doesn't dry down like a liquid foundation now for us dry girls what i recommend is taking a setting spray and just setting it so what i like to do is i will take a makeup sponge this is the real technique sponge i talk about it at nauseum on my channel it's my favorite but what i do is i just spray that and then I go and, and I pat it and that will set it and make sure that it will, it doesn't move, it doesn't transfer or anything like that and it stays there, but you can still see I get the luminosity. So this is all coming from the makeup. Now, if you're looking at my face and you're oily and you're like, what the heck, you look like a disco ball. For us dry girls, if you're oily, you don't understand what it means to look like this when you're dry. Like this is all like, oh. I wanna look like I'm sweaty and dewy and radiant and youthful and all that stuff because my skin is like a desert. So if you're oily and this is freaking you out because I look like a disco ball, not a big deal. If you set your makeup with dry or with powder, you're going to mattify it. So if you're looking for mattifying, you can do it with setting powder. You don't have to have this super glowy look if, you, if you're oily. But for us dry girls, you know, 
If your skin is desert dry like me, you know glowiness is where it's at. So the last thing is it is affordable. So these tens run for $16 each. Um, the contours and bronzer, I think, I think they're all $16 and then there's different prices. I've got my brow wax in here. I've got my illuminator. I've got a powder illuminator. I've got my setting powder. And then I have the four eyeshadows that I normally wear on a day-to-day -day basis. So everything that I need all in one compact, but it is super affordable. So these tens run $16. You, it takes maybe three to six months because obviously this one's going to take me a lot longer because I'm only using a little bit under my eyes. These I've been, this is probably month four or five for me. And I do my makeup every single day and I go heavy. Like I want a chiseled contour. I want that, all that glowing and stuff like that. This is the, my main highlight. I'm probably on month two. So I probably could get another two months out of this 10 um, and it's $16. So $16 for three to six months where I was spending 42, 45 on high-end liquid foundations. Now granted, I never used anything up because I never used it that long. I would sit there and use it and then it didn't work for me after a certain point and then I would jump to the next thing because it wasn't doing what I wanted it to do as far as my skin. I've gone through, what, I've been using it for two years, so at least four foundation colors in this and I've spent 16 times four is what? I don't even know, I'll put the math up here. I'm not good at math. Um, but 16 times four, that is how much I spent on my foundation routine. Can you say that? And I've used it all up and I mean like dug it out. So I love this makeup. I don't know if you can tell, but those are the reasons why I love it. Those are the reasons why I think it will work with everybody. It's 2023. If you're using the same foundation that you did when you're in your 20s, girl, it is time to change up your makeup routine. I will link the job form down below. If you're interested in getting a customized color match, all you do is fill out a couple of questions. You send me some pictures without makeup and indirect light. So I've got my um, window over there in a window where the sun isn't be beating directly on you, indirect, something bright so I can see your skin tone. I will send you customized recommendations of what colors will work for your skin. You purchase them and then I will send you some tips and tricks on how to use them and continuously follow up with you. So I am going to be your coach. I am going to be your troubleshooter. I am going to be your saint artist and I will be here to troubleshoot any issues that you have. We do have a 30 day money back guarantee. I always recommend that you give at least two weeks for you to get used to the makeup, but also for your skin to get used to it because it is a different formulation than liquid foundation. Your skin is going to take some time to adjust it. So I recommend you give at least two weeks. By week three, if you're like, this isn't working for me, let me know and we'll work together to get you a 100% refund. So that is what I do. Please let me know if you have any questions. Please leave them down below. Fill out the job form if you want a free color match. I am not a salesperson. I'm not going to hound you to death. I promise you that. It will be, hey, following up. If I don't hear from you, then it is what it is. I'm not going to sit there and hound you uh, like a regular salesperson. So I'm your girl. I'm your best friend, your makeup bestie. So if you're looking for a different routine for 2023, definitely check out Saint Makeup. Let me know if you have any questions. Until next time, bye.